Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. I believe I said in yesterday's video that it was February 14th. That's not the case. Yesterday was obviously February 13th. I was so, that is so noisy. I was so, so incredibly stressed out. Yesterday was just stuff I had to get done and then the fact that it snowed and I had to, to shovel and just yesterday was a crazy, crazy day. Yesterday was not a good day. Anyway, so I was, I don't know, my, my mind was, was all, over the, all over the place yesterday. Said the wrong date, my bad. That's gonna happen probably four billion more times in these videos. So anyway, today is February 14th, 2024, Valentine's Day. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. Bummer. Happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers out there. I wish I was with my lover at the moment. I wish I was in Florida with Danielle, but unfortunately, I'm here in cold, miserable, disgusting, still snow everywhere, Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh, it's so cold out there. So what did I spend my morning doing? It's about 12.30 in the afternoon right now, by the way. What did I spend my morning doing? Watching people put carpet in. Well, I didn't really watch them. I just had them do it, but people put carpet into to the house. They... Um, they were supposed to come yesterday, but it snowed, so they did not. So carpet has been installed. This is the, the carpet. The dogs are now no longer allowed down here in this room. That is the brand new carpet we had put in. It looks okay. It's all right. I mean, it's not the, the color or the style I would have chosen had I been remaining living here, but um, it looks good. It serves its purpose. It, uh, it makes that room look a lot nicer. They pulled up all the crappy hardwood that was like buckling and just, it was, it was terrible. The guy even said, he's like, wow, this is really bad wood. I said, I know, it's terrible. Um, so they pulled up all of that. They put carpet down. It looks good. It's better. That room looks a thousand times better than it did. It'll hopefully make the house sell a lot quicker now. So that's, that's good. But um, again, it's now about 1230, 1230 in the afternoon. I spent the morning cleaning stuff out of the house, getting things put out into the garage or, or into the basement or into closets or just organize, throwing some things away, just all kinds of stuff like that because come Wednesday next week, my realtor wants to start doing everything. She wants to start like staging the house, taking photos of the house, listing the house, doing open, doing, doing open houses with the house. So all of that is gonna start next week, which is crazy and extremely stressful because I have so much that needs to get done. I, I don't know how it's all gonna get done. If the house sells quickly, which would be amazing, um, it's just, uh, I, don't, I don't know, because all this stuff here has to go to Florida. And that's not even everything. I still have uh, basically shelves. I have more shelves I have to bring up. For the most part, this actually is the last of the stuff I have to take, which I know would all fit in a U-Haul. I know, comments down below, whatever. But what I'm gonna do is uh, start taking some of this to my brother's house come next week. Probably all the stuff in these tubs here. These are all my to watch movies. I'm actually thinking about going through these again and just maybe dwindling it down even further. There's stuff in here. I like, cause let's face it. Am I ever going to watch all this? No, probably not. But, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to go maybe through this a little bit more, dwindle it down some more, take some more stuff over to the video game movie dome, Trade it in for some store credit because I I don't know I gotta get I gotta get rid of some of the more the more of this stuff. There's just too much of it. It's insane. Like this, I I can't believe how much stuff there is. I've gone through this pile like 20 times. The fact that this pile of stuff was twice this size at one point is crazy. Because last time I went through this pile, I I cut it in half, and now it's still this big. That's nuts. So anyway, probably gonna go through this again and then start taking some of this stuff over to my brother's house. There's some other stuff over here. Like I have like a a bit of jeans and whatnot, small jeans that I want to hold on to because I'm going to probably continue to wear, wear them. I, I tried them on, they fit. I don't know why. I don't know why they were just in my closet. I don't know why I'm not wearing those jeans. They, they fit, they look good. I'm taking those to Florida. I'll figure it out when I when I get there. Anyway, so things like jeans, my, my son's bike, stuff like that is not mandatory to go down right now. That does not have to be down there like now. That can wait, that I can hold off, that can stay at my brother's house. And then when I come back up over the next couple of months, because I will be coming back up, maybe like once a month over the next couple of months um, because I, I have reasons to be up here. I will stop off at my brother's house, load up the van, take more stuff down. So that's the plan. My next trip, I want to try to get as many of these shelves down as I can because I want to start putting shelves up and getting all that taken care of. Uh, we have a guy coming over to redo the attic. There's a like big, huge attic space. It's pretty epic. Big, huge attic space above the 
the garage, which is amazing down in Florida. So we, there was like a little crawl, like a little opening in the, uh, in the ceiling of the garage in Florida. And I was like, what's up there? So I got a ladder, climbed up and I looked up and I'm like, it's, it was like, oh, huge giant room. It was amazing. I could not believe how, it was like, a, like another, another house up there. It was crazy how big the, a pe big of a, like an area, open area there is up there. Why they did not just build like storage into the house to begin with, I don't know. But anyway, so we're gonna have a guy come out. He's gonna come out like next week, put in a pull down ladder, put in some, some sub flooring, make that a place for storage. We're gonna get a lot of the stuff that's in the garage right now out of the garage, put up into the storage, and then I can start building the garage out, which isn't a, which isn't um, something I have to do right away. There's other stuff that has to get done in that house. There, there's so much more that has to get done in Florida before I really start to like really dive heavy into the garage. But I still wanna start getting work, start, start working on it to some extent. I, I, I wanna do some painting. I need to, clear all, or um, seal off the, the garage door. There's, there's things I have to do and things I want to work on. I want to work on it a little bit, at, a little bit at a time. So I want to focus on the main stuff in the house that has to get done. And then, you know, at night, Danielle goes to bed. I'm not tired yet. Cause I, I usually, I'm a night owl. I stay up to way, way too, way too late or way too early in the morning, way too late at night. I stay up way too late. And, um, you know, she, she's tired. She goes to bed. She's got to get up early for work the next day. I might stay up for another hour or two, just do some work in the, some quiet work in the, in the library, just get some things done. I want to have some extra time, do some work in there. So I want to be able to get stuff done. So that way, once everything in the house is finished and done, I can really just dive like head first into, into the, uh, into working on the, the garage and getting the, getting the other, the, the new library finished. That's, that's the plan. So anyway, like I said, spent the morning, getting more stuff put out here, getting stuff taken care of, getting stuff put away, getting throwing stuff out, doing all that stuff, getting new carpet put in. That's done. That's taken care of. So what's the rest of the day entail? Well, right now it's going to entail me getting some food. I am starving. I need some lunch. I've got a headache. I, I need food. Then, even though it's about 32 degrees out right now, no joke, I just checked the, checked the temperature before I started filming. It's 32 out right now. It's too cold, way too cold, but I have to vacuum. Vacuum the uh, vacuum pumpkin here. I'm not going to go crazy cleaning pumpkin, but I'm going to vacuum her out. And the reason I'm going to vacuum her out is because come tonight, I'm taking, I'm taking Vanabelle, or not Vanabelle, no, not, not Vanabelle. Vanabelle's, Vanabelle's here to stay. She's coming to Florida with me. Nothing's happening to you, Vanabelle. Pumpkin, unfortunately, I'm taking pumpkin to the Kia dealership and I will be, I will be selling her. I will be taking her there. Cycling was picked up. Uh, wasn't picked up yesterday, I guess because of the, the snow. Anyway, I'll be taking taking Pumpkin to the dealership, trading her in, and she will be no more. I'm sorry. I've you've been a good you've been a good car. It's honestly getting to the point now where even if I was keeping a car, I'd probably still end up trading. I would probably end up trading her in towards another car. I'm not I'm not getting another car. I will be just a van man. No, <laughs> I like that. I'll be just a van man, man. No more, no more regular car. Just a van for me for now on, which is fine. I like the van. I love, love, love the van. You know, I, like, I like pumpkin. I love pumpkin too, but I love, love, love the van. Anyway, so even if I was keeping, keeping a car, it'd be time to get rid of pumpkin. She, um, she's getting, she's getting up there in age. She, uh, she's gone from vroom, vroom, vroom to putt, putt, putt. It's, uh, it's getting to the point where I just, I just, I can hear it as you know, you, you drive a car for long enough. You start to, you can tell when it's making a different noise when your car's like, that doesn't sound like it used to. That's what, that's what pumpkin's doing. Pumpkin doesn't sound like she used to. She's showing her age. She's got like 87,000 miles on her already. I've driven her a lot. She's, she has served me well. We've been through a lot together. We've gone down to Florida together a couple of times before I had the van. We've had some fun, pumpkin and I, but it's time to, to trade her in. She's not coming to Florida. We don't have room for two cars. Or I, I, don't, I don't have room for two cars. We don't have room for three cars in Florida. Just sticking with the, uh, sticking with the van. So tonight she's getting traded in. I called the dealership. They're having some kind of promotion, supposedly, where they're offering more money. I guess they need, we need cars. So we're offering you more, more money for your, for your cars than we normally would. Or so they're telling me. I don't know. It's a deal. I worked for a dealership for four days 
And um, I learned there's a lot of shadiness that goes on with dealerships. So uh, yeah, I was a car salesman. Who remembers that? I was a car salesman for four days, many years ago. That was it, four days. And I was like, I don't wanna do this. This is not the job for me. So anyway, supposedly they're gonna give me more for this. Honestly, if, if whatever they give me for this, this car pays for the installation of the, um, the new attic area in Florida, also, it pays for, I ordered a new seat for Vanabel. Uh, I have just a, a removable seat in the back that was installed so my son can fit in it, fit in it and, and drive around with me. I now need a double seat, like a bench seat, so that I can drive Sean and Max around, Danielle's son around in, in the van. So I ordered that. That should be here actually this week, supposedly. The snow might have put a put a uh, damper on that, but it's supposed to arrive sometime this week. Or a delay is what I'm looking for. May have put a delay on that, but supposedly sometime this week, the, the, the other seat should be, it's so cold out here. The other, the other seat should be arriving. I have to get that installed. So if, if whatever they give me for, for pumpkin pays for, again, the installation of the new attic area in Florida pays for the installation and the seat in general for the, for the van, because that was kind of expensive. And also, I want to get new tires for the van. Whatever tires I have on this van, I want to get the exact same ones. These are the tires that came with the van. I'm at like 50, like 57,000 miles on a Vanabel, and these tires are still good. Like they're, the tread on them is still, is still looking good. They're probably going to need to be replaced sh like soon, shortly. Maybe I get like one or two more drives down to Florida in them, and then they're probably going to need to be replaced. But the fact that I've gone half this van's of life with, with those, with just those tires, I don't know what they are. I don't care if they're expensive. Those I'm getting put on. I'm getting those put back on the van. I'm going to say, I'm going to go to a tire store and say, those, get me those. So again, if whatever I get for a pumpkin pays for tires, new tires, four new tires, pays for the installation of the attic at Florida and pays for the installation and the, the cost of the seat, for, for Vanabelle, I'll be happy because all that then will be paid for and that'll be nice. More would be better. I looked up to see what this is worth. It should get, I should get more than what I paid for all that stuff. So I should get a couple thousand dollars more than, than what I paid, but if it covers that, I'll be happy. Anyway, all right. So like I said, I know I've been talking now for like tw 12, 13 minutes. It is what it is. We're, we're doing long takes today. So, all right, that's that. Crazy. Just so stressed out with everything in the house. Just, I'm going, I'm going nuts. And the fact that it all has to get done, like, tomorrow, basically, is just, it, it's, ugh, it, it is what it is. Anyway, some people are asking, will I do a tour of my house? I am, I'm going to. I will do a video once, um, once the house is sold, once, like, everything's out of here, once, like, everything's, like, done, and we have, like, you know, a day or two left until we got to be out of the house and somebody else is going to move in, I'll do a video. I'll do a video walking through the house, showing you the house telling you memories of the house. I wanna do that for not only you guys, because you guys asked for that. I wanna do it for me as well. I wanna do it as a memory, because this is the house I grew up in. This is my childhood home. I'm gonna miss it. A lot of memories here. It's gonna be a very sad video. I will try not to cry, but it might. <laughs> we'll see, because I have a lot of memories tied up in this house, and uh, to see it go is, is kind of sad. So I will end up doing a video, but all right, anyway. Again, I'm starving. I am hungry. I'm gonna go get some food, and then... I need to get, need water. I should have got water yet. I never ended, I never ended up going grocery shopping. I know. Um, I still need water. So maybe I'll stop off at Target quick and grab some, I don't know. Do I really want to go to Target again? We'll see. I need water. I'm like, I'm out. I'm, I'm down to like one, one bottle of water. I was like, crap, I need, I need more of that. So maybe I'll go get some water. Um, but right now, food. Food, 100%, maybe Target. And then I got to come back and I got to, I got to vacuum the, the car. I know I don't have, I don't know have to vacuum the car, but it's kind of disgusting. It probably should. It's bad enough I'm not going to like armor roll it or wipe it off or clean it, clean off the dashboard or anything like that. It's pretty disgusting in there. I, I eat a lot of food in the, in the van. It's, or in the, well, yeah, in the van too, but in, in pumpkin. So anyway, I'm going to vacuum her. So anyway, all right. I, anyway, okay, enough talking. Let's go get some food. Are you still watching? 15 minutes into this video of me just ranting. It's like an old school, it's an old school retro rest stop video, like an uncut retro rest stop video, but there's going to be a cut like now. So all right, let's go get some food and cut now just to think that this is like the last time i'm gonna be driving this car is kind of crazy well tonight will be the last time i drive this car to uh, to the dealership to trade it in and uh, this will be the last time i, I drop I, I drop shot off at school in this uh, last time i pick him up from school in this in this car i know it's just a car 
I do get sentimental with things though. I do, I do get attached to things. I know it's just a car, but I mean, it's a car I've been in for a long time. So I, I, I do get sentimental with this kind of stuff. It does, it does mean something to me. And I'm sure a lot of you out there are the same way where, you know, I'm sure half of you are like, it's just a car, who cares? And the other half of you are like, oh yeah, no, I, I, I feel you. You've been driving the car for a long time. You, you get, you get tied up in the car. You get sentimental in the car. And it's, it's sad to think. My son was actually sad. I told my son this morning that uh, this would be the last time I dropped him off at, off at school in Pumpkin. And he was, he was sad. He calls the car Pumpkin as well. Uh, every day when I drop him off at school, I lock the door and, you know, does the, you lock yours and it honks and he goes bye pumpkin <laughs> it's a pumpkin pumpkin saying bye to him it's really cute it's adorable so he likes he likes this car as well and um it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be kind of sad to uh to say goodbye to to the car he's gonna be sad i'll be a little sad but like i said we don't need we don't need that many cars in florida we don't have room for that many cars in florida just uh we have a two car, I mean, two car garage, not that the van would fit in the garage and not that the garage is going to be used for cars, it's going to be used for my movies, but the driveway fits two cars and that's, that's it. So, um, yeah. And again, pumpkin, just pumpkin. I love her, but she's just, she's getting, she's getting old. I can, I can feel it as I drive her. She just drives a little, I don't know what you want to call it, just a little, a little stiffer. She's getting, she's getting old. Again, she's got, um, 80, 87,000 miles on her. She's been, she's been around the block a, a few times. So, Anyway, yeah, just have to think. This is this is it. Last time taking pumpkin to go get to go get some pizza, and then tonight that'll be that'll be it. I'll be down to one one car, which also reminds me, I'm driving past uh, I'm driving past State Farm right now. I gotta call them and uh, cancel my my insurance for this car as of tonight. Cause uh, come tomorrow, I'm not gonna need to pay that anymore. I know, I know. Shut up already. But um, the, the more I think about it, it's just kind of sad. The whole, the whole experience, honestly, of, of moving, is a little sad. I'm getting, you know, getting rid of pumpkin. That's sad. Getting rid of my childhood home that I've lived in for all of like, I think four years of my life. I lived in a condo. And even then, I was over at my dad dad's house, which it was before. I was over at my dad's house all the time. So I, I mean, that's my that's my house. That's a house I've been in essentially my whole entire life. So getting getting rid of that is is sad and you know as i drive around town and i'm like oh there's the there's the ice cream store i like going to there's the you know the the burger place there's the pizza place there's there's the bank i use there's you know again like state farm you know, there's my there's where my my um my agent is there's you know the the school i i went to there's my you know there's my high school there's my elementary school there's this there's that like i just i just i've lived you know lived here my whole life so honestly the whole just experience is sentimental and just sad with um, with moving. I'm I'm essentially just starting a whole new life, which is which is crazy. My life's been here. This has been my life. This this town has been has been my life. So many memories here, growing up here, being here all the time. This 41 years of my life here in in Pennsylvania, and now it's all just. It's all just, I'm, I'm, I'm waving bye to it, heading down to, to Florida, Florida to start a new life and probably living the rest of my life down there. The, the only way I can ever see myself moving is if I, A, I stopped collecting movies because I'm not, I'm never moving my movie collection again. Uh, so yeah, that's probably not going to happen. But anyway, I, I would have to, I would have to stop collecting movies and sell off my collection and, uh, B, the only other way would be is if I moved to Delaware. I, I, I would love to retire in Delaware. That would be awesome. Um, Danielle, Danielle and I have talked about that, about, you know, oh, maybe, you know, when we get really old and we retire, maybe maybe we would, we, we, you know, the kid, kids are off in college are off doing their own thing with their own family. Maybe we, we would retire down at the beach somewhere between like Lewis, Delaware, and maybe like Fenwick Islands, Delaware, you know, re retire down there. That'd be cool. I love that area. That's my, that's my favorite place in the world between between um, Lewis, Delaware and like Ocean City, Maryland, that whole stretch of land there, it's paradise. There's nowhere better on earth, in my opinion, than that stretch of land. I just, I love it there so much. Uh, I would love to retire there, but we, you know, we talked about maybe, maybe we'll, we'll see. Um, also talked about uh, maybe we'll just save up money. Maybe we'll just put a little bit of money away, you know, every, every day. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just have enough to buy a small little beach house. Like we, we don't need a you know a, a normal size regular house. We would just need a little vacation house, maybe, maybe two bedrooms, a kitchen, living room, 
two baths. I mean, that's that's it. Tiny little house down there just to maybe be, um, be snowbirds in, if you will. Maybe during the summer when it's like brutally hot in Florida, we'd go live up in, in Delaware for a few months. And then when it gets cold up here, we'd go back down to, to Florida. Something to think about. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But anyway, it's a lot of talking today. <laughs> getting things off my chest. Getting things off my mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna miss it here. My my cousin, you actually not not this development. My cousin used to live in a development up here. This development was getting built while he lived in in the development up here. And we used to play on big dirt mounds in this development. We'd go and create these huge mounds of dirt where they were like excavating. It was awesome. And then this school here, I never went to, but I had friends who went to this school. And uh, I remember they had like this um, like a bed down like this under under like the like this basement like area. I think the I think the, I think the, um, the cafeteria was like like kind of underground in there. They had this like big event down there, and I, I I went and saw some of my friends, and like I just good again, good good times. This is the development my my cousin lived in. Remember when they put in this Dunkin' Donuts up here? It used to be a Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins. It's not a Baskin Robbins anymore, but I, mean, I, I used to love Baskin Robbins. I used to drive all the way out here just to get ice cream all the time. Bowling right down there. I used to be in a bowling league when I was a kid. Bowling alley right right over there. Anyway, here let's go get pizza. <laughs> That'll cheer me up. All right, so we've made it to the uh, the pizza place. We are we are back once again at Bravo Pizza. I I love I love it here. We used to have a Bravo Pizza actually in my hometown. This is like two well like one two towns over. So it's like a ten minute drive, not that big of a deal. We used to have one right in my hometown, right up the street from me, which was awesome. I, I miss I miss having a Bravo right right there back in the day. Now I have to drive a little bit further to to get to it. I think they're like, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's a chain. I don't know how Bravo works. Every now and then I come across a Bravo pizza, like the same kind of logo, but I think they're all, they're all like independently owned and operated. So they're all like a little bit different. I remember other Bravos I've been to having like a slightly different menu or the food tasting slightly different. So I don't, I don't know how it works, but yeah, we used to have one right up the street. I used to eat there all the time. My friend Zach and I, we'd eat there all the time. He lived, he lived right over there. I lived a town over, so he came to visit me. We eat, eat at the Bravo in my town. If I came to visit him, we'd eat at the Bravo here, right here in his his town. So that's what this video is today. It's just me reminiscing and getting depressed. Oh man, every time I get a pizza, I feel like my Kevin, uh, I feel my, who's my Kevin? Who's my Kevin Callister? I feel like Kevin McAllister. Mmm, <laughs> what, what's, what's the saying? Um, like my, my very own cheese pizza. I always feel like I'm getting that, that quote wrong, but oh my gosh, that smells, that smells so, so good. I'm starving. I, <laughs> I'm not eating yet today. I, oh, just standing around watching people do carpet made me very hungry. Mm. Oh my God. Sometimes you just have to order your own personal cheese pizza. And today, I'm gonna eat an entire personal cheese pizza. I don't, I don't care. Get, get the junk food out of the way now because come Florida, I guess I'll try to start eating better. Heading out to the Target now and also again, just getting sentimental. My father's buried right over there. I have a a plot that's that I'm gonna be buried buried in someday. So, I'll, okay, when I, my body, my body will someday be buried here in in Pennsylvania. I have a plot right over there next to my father, but just driving down this road, I mean, there's a, the, the judge, the, the district court was back there. Maybe as a kid, I, I found myself in there once before. I'll tell that story sometime. Um, Limerick Diner, my, my friends and I would live at the Limerick Diner. We would go there like every single like night and just hang out at the diner and just order coffees and well, I didn't order coffee. I would order soda. My friends would order coffee. I get I get soda. They get coffees. We get like you know every now and then we'd actually have money to get maybe like split a fry. We were, we were broke kids, but man, we'd hang out there all the time. Walt's golf farm here. Grew up going here as a kid playing a, a miniature golf. I've taken my son here. I just as an adult, I've gone here watching the fireworks here, the batting cages here. Peter Lumber Company. That was like the the hardware store my dad would always go to. He swore by that place. This uh, up here used to be a really awesome flea market. It was an outdoor flea market. Then they changed it into an indoor flea market and apparently the rent was like stupid high and nobody wanted to actually put up anything inside there. So they sold the land and now it's a strip mall. But that used to be a flea market for a while. Kind of wish it still 
still was. Here's the, the leaning lighthouse that's been there since like 1800s. That's awesome looking. So again, so many, so many memories just driving, simply just driving down the road. We're about to pass, about to pass a, a beverage place, my dad, a, like a beer distributor. My dad would always get uh, like, like sodas and, and beer from for parties and whatnot. And so many memories here in the area. No matter what street I drive down, waves of nostalgia just come back. All right, we have made it to Target. So here's another fun nostalgic story for you guys. This area right here, this whole this whole entire shopping center when I was a kid used to actually be the remains of a my pumpkin, <laughs> the remains of a um, of a drive-in movie theater. I don't believe the theater was ever opened when I was a kid. I don't think. I don't remember it ever being open. But I do remember driving up and down this road or at the intersection over there and you could see it. You could see there was like a row of trees and you could see like the old entrance and you could see behind the trees was a huge giant screen. So at one point, this was the Limerick like, drive-in movie theater, this whole area. Then they tore it all down, put a shopping center in, put a, put a Target in. But for a long time, as a kid, you could still see the old remains of the theater. My dad would always tell me about the the movie theater. He'd tell me how he, when he was a kid, he used to go to that theater. He saw drive-in movies there. So some some nostalgia here as well. But again, they, they did eventually just tear it all down and, and put the Target in, which I mean, as somebody who li lives at Target, I'm not too upset about that. But a drive-in movie theater would be a heck of a lot cooler than a, uh, than a Target. Oh, oh my gosh, it is so cold out there. I was trying to tell you guys that story while shiver, shivering and, and mumbling and trying not to have my, my teeth chatter too much. Anyway, so we're basically here just for water and, um, and maybe some, some iced tea, maybe some snacks as well. Yeah, I'm going to pick up some junk food as well. The, the question is, though, again, when it comes to cereal, what... What cereal do I do I get? I'm I'm eyeing up the frosted flakes. I do enjoy me some some dry frosted flakes without without milk. There's there's a life cereal as well. I had some of that last week, which was delicious, but I'm thinking maybe something different. So I'm kind of leaning towards the, the frosted flakes. After all, they are they are great. So Alright, fr frosted flakes it is. I want something again sugary, but not like overly sugary. I know Frosted Flakes are pretty sugary, but I mean, I'm not, I'm talking like, I, I should probably pass on the Fruit Loops, right? Right? <laughs> I'm getting, I, it takes me way too long. I put way too much thought into, into cereal. Frosted Flakes is what I'm getting. I'm also picking up some more Hershey's with almonds. I, yeah, I, I went through these things so fast last time. So fast that I'm picking up Two packs. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm buying a whole bunch of sugar. Tempted by the almond M&Ms as well, but we'll stick with the, the candy bars. I know. It's gonna put me into an early grave, right, <laughs> right down the road. At least I'm buying tea though, and not, and not soda. I refuse to carry any soda in the house. In fact, I, I think I only need one, one of those. I have another case I, I just opened up so I I'm, I'm good for for tea but again at least I'm drinking tea and not not soda it's a it's a start but very slow movements towards eating healthier I'm also gonna get some water as well again things to make me healthy waters oh, waters good Anywho, water's good for you as opposed to sugary drinks like like soda. So, like I said, one small, tiny little step at a time towards eating better, eating more healthily. And once I get to Florida, things will change mainly because my plan is to eat at home a heck of a lot more. I eat out pretty much all the time now. That has to come to an end. Okay, these are pretty awesome. I'm digging the the Pokemon Squishmallows. These are so cool. My son would lose his mind 
over these. In fact, I think maybe he already has. Does he have a Squishmallow? I know he has a big, large Pikachu. I just can't remember if it's a Squishmallow or not. It might be, actually, to, to be honest with you. But look at all the, the Pokemon Funko Pops. My son also loves these as well. He wants, like, every, every single Pokemon Funko Pop. He wants them all. Look at the Alakazam. That's cool. Not, not today, but... I'll get him, get him some more of those eventually. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? They actually have a Jigglypuff? Okay, that. I, I gotta find the price on this. I mean, it's only $30. That's not, that's not terrible for, a, for an amazing Jigglypuff plush, right? It's my son's like favorite Pokemon. That is so cool. Yeah, I, I did not come here to buy to buy stuff like this, so I'm not going to. But I'm I'm very, very, very tempted to buy that. That is that is awesome. If that was like 20 bucks, I would I would have jumped on it. 30 though. I gotta be good. I'll I'll find it cheaper. I don't even know how I made it over into the media section. I kind of just like instinctively walked over here. I just I I, I do it out of instinct anyway, so. Looks like they have put out all the movies. I did pick up the Marvels yesterday from here. Looks like they also put out the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. This I do want. The 4K would be, would be nice. If you guys have seen this movie, leave a comment down below. How was it? it looks interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued, but I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna just put it, put it back. I'm sure Pamela at the Video Game Movie Dome will get a copy in. I'll get it off of her. I don't need it right now, but let me know what you guys think of that movie. Is it something I should definitely pick up? I mean, I'm going to regardless, but should I pick it up sooner rather than later? Let me let me know. All right, um, I got water, tea, some snacks. That's really the only thing I, only thing I came in for. So I think I'm good. Wow, that was probably the uh, quickest I've ever been in and out of a of a Target before I I did good. Yes, I somehow again like instinctively made it over into the the media section, even though I did not plan on actually looking at the media section today, but I just I, I, I put the blinders on, walked past everything else that was tempting me, everything else I thought about looking at, and just picked up what I came in for. Also on top of that I do have to get home and I do have to again vacuum the car and I want to get that done before I got to pick up my son from school. So, all right, we're, we're good. Walked out of there only buying the things I wanted. Don't remember the last time I've done that. Also, why the heck did I park so far away from the Target? I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I literally parked like all the way down here. I'm, I'm at the end of the parking lot. I don't know why I chose this parking space. Maybe it seemed like a good idea, good idea at the time. Now, not so much. Where's the cart return? Why, why did I park here? And since I'm not a complete jerk, I do have to take a cart back to a cart return. I'm not gonna just leave it on the side of the the parking lot or in the middle of the parking lot like many people do. Look at that. Oh, look at that. A lot fest. That per I don't know who that person is. That person there's a cool cool, awesome person. Oh my gosh, it's so cold out right now. This, yeah, this is terrible. Worst parking spot ever. Also, why do they not put cart returns like further back in the, in the parking lots? I never understood that. Everywhere you go, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere that has carts and has cart returns, they're always like up front and never, never in the back. I feel like if they did that, I'm checking out this car. I feel like if they put more cart returns in the back of the parking lot as well, you wouldn't see things like this or things like, like that as much as you, you do. Maybe people would actually, some people would actually put their carts back into a cart return if there was one, you know, right there, but there's not. Oh my, oh, my car's looking so cold. Like vacuum in a, a sub zero suit. 
All right, back home, and oh my gosh, it is insanely cold out here right now. I think it's 34 degrees, went up to two whole degrees. Anyway, oh, I'm going to quickly vacuum my car, very, very quickly vacuum my car. Everything else has been taken out. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not going to clean off the dashboard or, or anything like that. Just a very quick vacuum job to make the car look a little bit more presentable for when I take it into to sell it. So yeah, this is going to be a very quick, 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 quick vacuum job because it's cold. It's like th 34. I'm freezing. We need to vacuum quickly. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to turn into a popsicle. Okay, I officially cannot feel my hands anymore. So I'm gonna say the um, car's clean enough. Honestly, it does look a heck of a lot better without all the French fries and crumbs and whatnot all over the floors and all over the seats. It was it was actually kind of disgusting. I, I can't remember the last time I actually vacuumed out the car. I used to do it like maybe like twice a year. It's probably been a couple of years since, I, since I've done it. But anyway, the car is, cleaner ish but again i can't i can't feel my hands i'm i'm done it's so cold out here 34 degrees the wind's blowing that's good enough so all right guys i'm going to i'm going to call today quits i'm going to call this video quits i'm going to go inside get warmed up probably tear down a few more shelves i still have like i don't know 6 7 8 more shelves that have to be taken down brought out here into the garage and and whatnot so i got to i got to do that so, all right, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna call it quits. Say goodbye, goodbye to Pumpkin. She has served me well, she has served us well. You've seen her in many videos, but she will be going away tonight, unfortunately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss you, girl. So, all right, that's gonna, that's gonna do it for, for today's video. I know, kind of a weird video, just sort of me ranting and talking about things and nostalgia trips and whatnot, but, that kind of a day. Again, got a very late start to, to the day due to carpeting having to be put in. It's been a, just a, it's been a weird day. You know what? The next couple of, probably the next month, it's just going to be a weird month in general. So just heads up, probably a weird month coming over the next, over the next couple of weeks. Cause just, there's so much to get done. So much stuff to do around the house, selling the house, getting all that taken care of, more trips down to, to Florida, getting stuff packed up. It's just, it's going to be a madhouse for the next couple of uh couple of weeks the guy the guy doing the carpet today he's like oh we're almost done once once uh once we, we once we finish this little thing up we'll be done we'll be out of here then you can get back to you know normalcy and i laughed i'm like normalcy things won't be normal until the house is sold and i'm officially in florida then things can get back to normal until then no all right guys so again that's gonna do it thank you guys for watching this video if you did watch this video all the way to the very end i really do appreciate it that's amazing thank you so much but all right, so as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts proceeds. Both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show. I love my shot back. Do help support the show. Do keep the show going. I really do appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Whew. Lauren, I cannot come soon enough. It's too cold. I cannot wait to get away from this type of weather. I can, I can survive the warmth so much better than I can survive the cold. So anyway, like I said, check down below for all the different links. And if you guys did watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag nostalgia. Hashtag nostalgia. If you guys actually stuck through this entire video, this like half hour, X amount of minutes long video, if you guys watch this whole thing and watch me just talk about weird stuff, Again, I really do appreciate it. So hashtag nostalgia down below if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. But again, guys, that's going to do it. I'm also looking forward to getting away from that. Oil. We This this house has oil heat. That stuff's expensive. I cannot wait to get away from that. Electric heat. Well, not that we're going to use much heat in Florida, but man, I kind of wish I had electric heat. Oil heat. Pricey. And it just keeps going up and up and up. So... Anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. All right, I'm going inside. I'm getting warm. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Ah, crap, my shot back. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. All right, so good news, bad news. The, um, well, it's all kind of bad news at the moment, but um, Kia screwed me over, went to the dealership. They were basically, basically like, we have no idea what you're talking about. The people you called was like a call center. It wasn't our direct, our direct um, like uh, dealership. So we don't know about this whole deal they were gonna offer you and we could give you basically like nothing for your car. So drove an hour out to the Kia dealership just to find out they basically were not gonna buy my car. So came here to, uh, to CarMax. They offered me an okay deal, but I also contacted Carvana and they offered me a better deal. So the deal CarMax offered me is good for seven days. I'm going to hold off because Carvana is gonna come out on Friday to take a look at my car and hopefully they'll give me the amount they said they would. They could bait and switch me, we'll, we'll see, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. So I, I might take CarMax's offer unless Carvana gives me the, the amount they told me they would, in which case I'll take their offer instead. So, oh man, it's cold out here. It's, it's, it's ridiculously cold out here. So anyway, I am selling the car. Probably not gonna get as much as I was hoping unless Carvana gives me what they offered, in which case uh, then it's close to what I was thinking. Oh my gosh. Okay, so still, still driving Pumpkin. Haven't quite said goodbye to her yet, but um, hopefully by Friday we'll, <sighs> we'll figure out what I'm doing. All right, I'm shaking to death. I'm gonna go get some food and um, try to stay calm because uh, this was a not great experience. All right, so um, Pumpkin, staying with me for at least two more days. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. <sighs> Bye.